dust amidst the cloud my heart and mind So that I shall not fear the steepest mountain side Walk with me, O oh my Lord Through the darkest night and brightest day Be at my side, O oh Lord Hold my hand and guide me on my way As once you heal the lame and give sight to the blind Help me when I'm done cast to hold my head up high Walk with me, O oh my Lord Through the darkest night and brightest day Be at my side, O oh Lord Hold my hand and guide me on my way My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. Dear friends, we invite you to intensely partake in the season of Lent. We are in the Holy Week, prayer, fasting and almsgiving are very necessary things for every Christian. Do what is necessary. It is painful for us to sit for long hours in prayer, to fast from what we like or from negativity, from gossips, to fast or to follow discipline and even to give it is difficult, almsgiving giving to the poor we need to oblige ourselves to come out of our selfish ways and surrender ourselves before God during this mass we pray for God's strength and courage to come upon us to make us austere and strict Christians that we may be able to love the poor, the needy, and love the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, and our mind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, verses 1 to 7. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit, that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out or shout aloud, or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed, nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed, until true justice is established on earth for the islands are waiting his law. 
Thus says God the Lord, He who created the heavens and spread them out, who gave shape to the earth and what comes from it, who gave bread to its people and life to the creatures that move in it. I, the Lord, have called you to serve the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of people and light of the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? Response. The Lord is my light and my help. When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Response. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. Response. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in Him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Response. The Lord is my light and my help. Gospel Acclamation Praise, to, praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Hail to you, our King. You alone have had compassion on our sin. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus, wiping them with her hair. The house was full of the scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, why wasn't this ointment sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself to the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. She had to keep this scent. For the day of my burial, you have the poor with you always, you will not have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there and came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, many people who are finding difficult to get justice they will tell you that even when they have all the truth with them, with proofs, documents, those opponents 
can easily grab your property, your wealth, your house illegally with fake documents. In other sense, they will try to dispossess you of all the proofs you have so that you cannot prove yourself in the court. You too may have gone through the same experience. You too may have gone through this trauma, similar experience and tensions. We see here in the reading of today how people want to kill Lazarus because Jesus has raised him from the dead. And now he is a living witness in his ministry. People are coming to see Lazarus more than seeing Jesus because they want to see the man who has come back to life. And those people who are jealous and they come to know that many people are following Jesus because of this Lazarus, they want to destroy the proof. Destroy Lazarus himself. They want to kill him. So my dear friends, it is nothing new. We see the attitude of Judas Iscariot in the reading of today. He tells the people around what is going through in the mind of Judas. The poor are always with you. I will be not. And she is prepared to anoint me with the same scent at my burial. Judas tries to show love for the poor, pretends to, but actually he was robbing from the contributions meant for the poor. Dear brothers and sisters, we need to look into our own selves. Where do we lie? Are we the destroyers of proof? Are we the destroyers of goodness? Or are we proclaiming the word of God for truth to prevail? Let us pray during this Holy Mass that we all may strive to do good and let goodness prevail. Amen. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us 
and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of their sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her through the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance but also above all with purity of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be in peace and live Jesus. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, very most pure. May God pour cleansing streams over us, washing our souls from every stain. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, very most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May God as Spirit breathe into us. Open our graves and bring us to life. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. 
pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May He remove our stony hearts, give us a heart of flesh in its stead. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. 